Hi, eccoci qua, siamo in diretta di nuovo, perfetto, così ci troviamo, ci dovremmo trovare con Mr. Lars Boring. Hi everyone, hello, let's see if Mr. Lars Boring, oh, ok, I already see you, Mr. Lars, please join me. Ok, let's see if everything goes well. You have just to add me or ask me. Yes, you have to join me in, the, in this Instagram live. Hello, Fede. Yes, Ale. We are waiting for Mr. Lars Boring. Today I'm quite excited. Okay, here we are. Here we are. Trasmetto in diretta. 3, 2, 1, and go. Oh, yes, here you are. Welcome. Thank you. Thank technology took a while to push the right buttons. Yeah, just, just a little bit, but I'm really happy to have you here. Sorry, just a, just a moment since I forget my headphone and I need it, but since the connection is not perfect. Okay, much better. Let's see. Hi, Mr. Lars, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Actually, it's a strange day because normally now we would have a, a festival going on in Amsterdam and I'm sitting at home uh, and yeah. uh, thinking about life. Of and, course, uh, yeah. Yeah. Following uh, all the results uh, of the WordPress photo responses on the, on, through, uh, through the internet, newspapers. Was, yeah, yeah, no, I, I know, I noticed some, the ceremony doing by Zoom or stuff like that, yeah, it was uh, something weird, at least. Yeah, it was, it, it, at the same time it was uh, touching and uh, special, everybody sensed it, so we prepared it for a, around an hour. Uh, we had a fantastic speech by our patron, Prince Constantine, uh, talking about photography. And everybody felt uh, honored by it, by it, by it. but it's, um, it's not the same as that we get together and, and, and see each other. Of um, course. Congratulate each other, but at the same, you know, it's, it's, it's what it is. And uh, that's the moment, but I, I'm very happy with the enormous amount of uh, media attention that uh, that photography visual journalism is getting mm. so hopefully in the future we will be able to to see each other again in in, in life and but for now we have to do it yeah for sure virtually. for sure it, it, it's a real pity for the ceremony event but uh, you're right probably all the photojournalists and the world of photojournalism is much more uh, united now than before, probably. Uh, uh, in a way, I say, because, you know, this terrible topic uh, is something really weird. And, and uh, I, I, I can notice in these days that I, uh, I'm always uh, call some friends, uh, photo friends all around the world, and, and uh, everybody uh, needs to, to stay in contact uh, with, with friends and other people. And probably before wasn't so easy. I mean, I, I'm, I'm trying to, to call everybody in Asia, in South America, in Africa. And before wasn't uh, so easy because I hadn't time. I hadn't time before, you know. And they didn't, they didn't even have time before as well. I, right. I had a conversation with uh, Kadir van Lohuis uh, yesterday. Great Kadir. And he said, uh, he said uh, it's uh, fascinating, uh, strange times, but at least everybody can be reached because you know that they are all, most of them, I, I would say that you feel that the whole world is at home. Yeah. Um, and, and at the other side, he said, I, I just don't understand how we need to move forward, how we can move forward, because if you're sitting at home, what, what kind of story do you tell? Um, he, he made a, a beautiful video, uh, a homage to Ed van der Elske on the bike through Amsterdam, okay. uh, which was beautiful. So you can see that people become very creative, but only if you can go out. 
And and then the other side, what stories can you tell right now? You know. Yeah, is something said y yesterday evening. Uh, I had a chat uh, uh, on an Instagram live, uh, like today with you, with William Daniels. You know, a friend yes. of how of mine and and you too. And and uh, we talked a, b a little bit about his latest project on Paris, uh, uh, with you know this empty totally empty space uh, and in a big city like Paris is something overwhelming. Uh, but it is quite easy uh, today, uh, as William said, realize this kind of picture and is more a kind of documentation than just a, a, a real photo reportage. I mean, even if yeah. the project of William is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think we'll uh, strangely enough enjoy a lot of that work later on when we when we get back into well let's hope we go back to half normal at least that would yeah. be nice uh, because because the world was a little bit a bit crazy and but then I think it would be beautiful to have that as a, ref, as a reference and photographers uh, do that all over the globe. Uh, I'm a little bit afraid for uh, two years from now that we will have massive amounts of photo books of empty cities. Uh, everybody might think it's the, the, the thing to do. I, maybe we should just make one book with, yeah. uh, with, All thousand, together. with, with thousand photojournalists. Yeah, maybe, you're right. Uh, that would be better. Everybody would be able to, to, to send it in and, and that would be a, a global uh, uh, reference yeah. of empty, empty cities, but yeah, 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 yeah. you're right. Yeah, but, you know, and it, the problem is for me uh, now is that um, it seems almost that all the other news has disappeared. Yeah, um, which is of course not true. It's not true that the the world goes on. Uh, of course, some wars will stop, but not for good. Uh, some will continue. Nobody knows who's telling the story. Uh, that's also something that we have to keep in mind. There's there's much more going on in the world than uh, COVID nineteen, and let's hope that we find also ways to see these stories. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Totally agree. Yeah. T talking about uh, WordPress photo and this moment with a lot of a picture of nothing or a picture of empty spaces. Uh, our friend, the director of the Cineteca of Bologna, Gianluca Farinelli, a weeks ago uh, wrote me a message and we talked about the picture of the Pope um, during the evening mass um, um, in, in, in the main square of Rome, you know, in Vatican Square. Yeah. And he told me, okay, we have to ask, the, to, to invite already this photographer for the next year, because probably this picture uh, would be, would be or, or it will be the, the yeah. picture of the year, you know. Uh, since it's so in, important uh, all over the world, this period, and so... Yeah, and so yeah, we'll see. Uh, maybe maybe next year WordPress Photo should have a special category for for COVID nineteen. Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, it's it it feels like uh, lots of work will come from that. I, I, every year you have these themes. This year it was a lot about protests yeah. and uh, lots about uh, the yellow vests in in Paris. And 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 two years ago, three years ago, we had a lot of. Orange life vest of the the migration on the, on the Mediterranean and and elsewhere in the world. There are lots of Rohingya stories. Right. The, the, I I don't know how you see it. I, I, you are in Bologna. You are uh, let's say also uh, inside. The longer yeah. we stay inside, the more our beard will grow. Eh? Uh, yeah. You're 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 having a you're you're winning at this moment. But but are you are you making a story about uh, Bologna right now? Or are you yeah not. A kind of, you know, uh, I don't want to, to, to shoot the same uh, story about empty cities or, uh, or empty space. Uh, and so I'm, I'm developing my project. Uh, it's a long term project, actually, but, but it's quite interesting to me. And, and at this moment is uh, it's quite perfect, I, can I say. Uh, I can say because I'm shooting from my window, and and uh, from my window, you know, today is a 
is a way to be free <laughs> in a way. And this is a kind of assignment that I'm giving to a lot of my students in this period. Uh, try to tell uh, something looking from the window. And I started in 2008 this personal project. And, and uh, you know my, my home and my house. And from the window, from my terrace, there is a, an interesting view on the rooftop of our uh, city of Bologna. And, and it's not just about the city, it's about uh, loneliness and, and, uh, and also the people inside the house, uh, sh uh, showing them through light uh, and, and, uh, and, and nothing. It's, it's a project, you know, the, the name, uh, the title is quite classic from my window, but of mm -hmm. course it's is a personal vision and I try to uh, understand uh, more from the, the space around me and, and uh, we can discover a lot of simple things. I mean, also not, from, not just from the window, but also inside our room or, or our house, we can discover mm -hmm. a special light uh, and, and uh, and special and strange objects and stuff. Yeah, uh, Some, suddenly so... you become more uh, conscious of everything around you. I think exactly. that is, uh, yeah, yeah. I see exactly. one question Thank here you. that uh, Fahim Images is asking what would be interesting to cover other than hospital and streets for photojournalists working in the field of the story. I, yeah, well, you just gave an example. I would say that. Uh, uh, now that we have seen lots of hospitals and, and uh, I think now it's also a great time to show where people find new ways of uh, connecting. So uh, one thing is that you see people from, of course, the famous uh, scenes from the balcony, people singing, uh, uh, clapping, toasting. But you can also now see more and more, at least in Amsterdam, uh, you see people that are able to go out in the street. And yeah. uh, I think I think to to capture also this story about uh, the beauty of mankind trying to connect to each other is just as valid as a story than to show uh, people on uh, on gurneys being brought out of the hospital. Of course, uh, yeah. that is that is something that we uh, also need to see. But let's also focus on on uh, solutions and beautiful things, because that's uh, that's also now part of life. And I hope that somehow we can be able to see that as well because that, yeah, that kind right, of puts right. a balance in the, in, in the story. Yeah, to, to, totally agree, Mr. Lars, totally agree. And, and, uh, and, and of course, when, uh, um, when we see some picture about hospital and, and people, uh, um, I keep in mind the wonderful project of Alex Maioli and probably for me it's enough. Uh, I mean... Uh, a, a, a classic photo reportage, but doing with a great personal vision. And, and, and yes. so, you know, better than me, Alex Maioli is a master. And so probably with one or two photo reportage of this, uh, uh, like this one, probably to me, it's enough. And you are, you are right, totally agree with the importance of, of, of some new reportage about hope. Yeah. Yeah. I think you. Hope. I think you're a little bit biased because he's Italian, uh, <laughs> but but that's a that's a that's a joke. No, but, uh, Italian uh, photography is is uh, just as much uh, as the years before part of of, of the world yeah, but, photo again as well. But Alex Maggioli, uh, what is I an like international is that, uh, international yeah, super yeah. photographer. Yeah, 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 yeah. True, true, and yeah, and yeah. And, and, uh, and, a, and a and a great guy. So, um, yeah, it's good to see that uh, he takes his personal style and and uh, that's yeah. it also to hear. There's a lot of discussion about it always. Uh, how how do you portray a, a story like this? But I think it's also the task of a photographer or a visual storyteller to make it your own. Uh, because that makes it stand out. And I think that is also important that we see it, that we recognize it and we want to know more about it. Yeah, right, right. Thank you for your words, Lars. Yeah, um, yeah. talking about, about WordPress photo, uh, um, I'm glad to have you here since uh, we, you know, we, we, we organized uh, since 2017, the WordPress photo in our city in Bologna with uh, with the great and wonderful Cineteca of Bologna. 
and uh, Gianluca Farinelli, the director, and we still hope, we still hope uh, to host you again this summer, but we'll yes. see, you know, it's not so easy to say something today, but we, we'll see. We, we spend a lot of wonderful hours together or days in the next years, and uh, I want to say one, once more thank you to you for your, uh, yeah, your, your, I mean, relation with us and with Bologna and, and was great for us. So we will see. Our main square is waiting for you again. Yeah. So I hope we can do this because uh, people that don't know, it, it's, it's, a big, it's the biggest cinema screen I know outside. 5,000 seats yeah. uh, in the, the main square in Bologna. Bologna is a great city to be in. Uh, a, a great place to, 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 to visit, to walk around. Uh, but also a great place to have uh, food, uh, right? <laughs> and as, as always in Italy. But but for t what I, what I uh, enjoy so much is uh, the invitation that we got from uh, Cineteca Bologna to to ha to have one night uh, of World Press Photo on a screen um, yeah. and to be there. Uh, this is also what World Press Photo is about. It's not just what we do now, announce it, but to show it in exhibitions. But for us, the um, one of the most beautiful viewings of uh, World Press Photo in the year is to be on the on the big square in Bologna, seeing it on a screen which is 30 meters wide, 10 meters high. Uh, yeah, I don't know who ever thought about that, but it's it's a it's a genius. Yeah. No, thank you very much. Is uh, something uh, unbelievable uh, in open air with this huge screen and so many people all together watching the WordPress photo picture is something, something uh, really uh, is a, a great impact to me. Also because you know very well the story and, and I, I started asking you something after, after 2015 when I was among the winners in, in your probably yeah. was your first year as a director yeah. of yeah. the WordPress yeah. photo foundation, True. right? True. Yeah. And, and that's uh, where we and, saw each other for the first time. Uh, you were a winner right. and uh, you were in Amsterdam and this is where this idea also about Bologna started. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and then we, we involved also for, for sure the Cineteca of Bologna and uh, from that day started this kind of dream. And so we are very proud and happy about what we, we have done together. So, okay. Let, but let, let's talk a little bit if you are agree about if you agree about the picture of the year since yesterday, I mean, two days ago, sorry, two days ago, yeah. we, uh, you, you decided and you said, uh, you told us uh, the, the final result about, of the jury. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. always so curious about the, the works of the jury. The work of the jury is something interesting for me. And I notice uh, the, the picture of the year and the story of the year. Yeah, something really strong. And uh, yeah, the picture of the year is something really, um, not, not just strong the story, but it's something that is, um, the feeling uh, of this great picture is something really poetic to me. Yeah, yeah, I, I, uh, I, have, it, I have it here uh, on the newspaper, uh, the Dutch Amsterdam newspaper. Yeah, what? Uh, the Parole. Yeah, yeah. Um, a great photo. Um, I would say uh, Yasuyoshi Chiba, Japanese yeah. photographer. Yeah, Japanese photographer, right, from France. Yeah, Press. and, right. and um, on our website of worldpressphoto.org, you find a little interview with him where you also see the other photos that he has made. There you go. Um, and yeah. um yeah what i what is so beautiful about it is um the, the, it is the story about protest um a young at that time 15 year old he's now 16 year old all, one of the newspapers in the netherlands already tracked him down the boy and and he's, wow. uh, had, had an interview with him and uh, he was completely surprised he never knew about this photo and suddenly this photo <laughs> goes all over the world but he's very proud, oh gosh um, yeah. because he talks about uh, the importance of uh, protest and, and showing the youth that they, they want things to change. And this yeah. photo stands for this change and for the, uh, the, the peaceful revolution that can take place. And I yeah. think that and is just, showing in many photos. 
and just with and just with only with the voice and with words you know because yeah. often we are quite used to see uh, young rebels uh, with uh, uh, with guns or stuff like that but this picture to me is a picture of hope too uh, yeah. since it's a revolution made by words in a way yeah yeah. Let's talk about, you know, uh, uh, photography. We talk very often about visual power and uh, visual poetry. Uh, yeah. I think it's a, it's a magical combination of uh, poetry uh, being recited on the streets, young people around it lighting up, uh, people laughing, happy, uh, right. proud. And I, 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 I think that's uh, something that, uh, that should take into account. I mean, we just talked about how to show COVID-19 and, and the story about it. And then I spoke about, can we also show uh, how the world has changed uh, for the good? There was also a question I just saw here from uh, Dumas21. You know, I think to go back to normal, who, how do we go back <laughs> to normal life and how does photography play a role? Well, I would say that photography should show us that when we go back to, let's say, normal, whatever we feel normal would be. Yeah, in uh, a way, yes. Yeah. How, how do we visualize where we want to go um, and what we want to do after? I think uh, uh, photography can be a very, very good instrument for that. And yeah, uh, exactly. to, to show, uh, show these changes, uh, yeah. I don't know what normal is anymore. Yeah, you're but right. Yeah, maybe maybe neither. we should keep it like that. We should yeah, keep I mean, it like that. Yeah, yeah why not? But, yeah. but but this picture is really powerful, and I feel uh, as uh, if I were there in a way. You know, also the aesthetic of the picture, the light, the composition, the atmosphere, uh, everything is really really nice. I I I bet on this picture when I saw the six. Uh, picture uh oh you did the set. Ah, okay. yeah 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 so yeah. maybe uh, you should I... be the jury member next time then uh, ne next time you, next time if you okay. if you get it right yeah no but be, I, I, I be careful I, i'm ready eh? be careful yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> no but i what i think is um i think the jury the, the final six photos is they're all very interesting and very good i like it that this have this whole uh, set of photos that have visually are very different stories are very different um great uh photographers amongst them yeah of course of course in the end uh you have to make a choice but what we have done uh, since uh the last years is to show this selection of six because yeah. that also shows the the power and the strength of all the other photos that are very close to it and i think that applies the same to the to the stories that we uh, the story of the year has become also a very important uh, uh, winning f uh, set of yeah, photos. Yeah, yeah. Because storytelling in photography is is crucial and very important. No. Yeah, and you decided to uh, to organize also the story of the year, no? Because uh, this is started this started two years ago. If yeah. I say well, yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, and yeah, I, it's I very think uh, that's an interesting one. I have it also in the same. Uh, it's, it's difficult to see, maybe, but uh, that's the the beauty of a newspaper. Eh? Still yeah. have something in your hands. It's a wonderful story by Romain Lorando uh, yeah. uh, in Algeria. Not so easy to photograph. Uh, no, really difficult down there. Yeah, you're right. Really difficult. And this is a long term project. Uh, so many years of shooting down there. And there is a wonderful interview uh, on your website about this, uh, on, uh, I mean, the interview of this photographer, uh, the French photographer, Romain. And, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I can feel his passion and I can feel that he is so involved in, in this topic and in this country. Yeah, uh, pr probably is a kind of friend. And he said a wonderful thing. I, uh, I remember that he said, I was and I am one of them. And so mm. I think mm. that is really important, this kind of empathy uh, for a long-term project like this one. Yeah, and I, I think it also shows that this long-term commitment of photographers to, to stories is crucial. Uh, the days of uh, parachuting in or jumping out of a car and helicopter, do it for one day. Yes, of course, sometimes you, you need that. But um, what you see here is somebody that has uh, deep understanding of what is going on and what people are doing and, and taking time to, to be there for, 
three years, more, m- multiple years. Uh, right. And then you really can tell the story because the story needs, needs all these elements. You need to have understanding of people who are on the street and who are doing this. And, um, and, and uh, yeah, and then to come up with a 32 uh, edit a photo uh, <laughs> and then have it so strong. I, th- I think one of the jury members says in the video about it uh, that all the photos were good. And mm-hmm. to be honest, when I, when I teach photography or you, you very often said it's impossible to have all the photos in the edit goods. You know, you have to yeah. have some stronger yeah. weeks. But it's, it's true so, that if you look it's at this, so it's difficult. Very yeah, you're right. No, the, the aesthetic of this work is amazing. Uh, so powerful. And uh, this could happen uh, to me just when the photographer is a great photographer, but it's not enough. He has to me to, to spend a lot of time, like in this case, uh, in, in, in the field. And so yeah. uh, I, if I remember well, seven or eight years uh, working on the same topic. Uh, and so is a really, really wonderful works and project work and project yeah can i ask you a question what is of do course. you have a do you have a favorite photo this year something that really stood out for you I, yeah yeah uh, to be honest uh, the work of uh, lorenzo tugnoli is something wonderful to me and i i'm proud to say that tomorrow we'll have a conversation with lorenzo like today with you so we will continue we will continue to talk about picture, WordPress photo, and photojournalism. And yeah. so tomorrow uh, at five o'clock, uh, five o'clock in Italy. So I, yeah. I don't remember, uh, I don't remember well. Uh, if I have to say GMT plus two or stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Cent- but... <laughs> Central, Central European summertime. That's Thank the you, much, one. much yeah. better. C- yeah, C-E-S-T. Yeah. No, Lorenzo, okay. yeah, I understand. He, uh, you will, if you t- tune in again tomorrow, his work yeah. about the Taliban. Lorenzo is one of the most hardworking, incredible photographers uh, in the world. It, I cannot it's... believe uh, the commitment yeah, and the strength exactly. is so good. And yeah. it, to me, he improved so much. And, and now his work to me is uh, already in a classic. I mean, it's so contemporary, but also classic at the same time. Classic in a good way, I mean. Uh, like, uh, uh, I don't want to say that it's the same, my God, but uh, in a way, in that way, or, or, or picture of Kudelka. Like, uh, I mean, yesterday with William Daniels, we talk about Gypsy. Uh, the mm. wonderful book of Kudelka. And there are some pictures in this black and white of Lorenzo that reminds me of this kind of work. And so mm-hmm. really, really powerful to me. And so yeah. if I have to choose someone, I can say the picture and the work of Lorenzo. Um, yeah. in, in, the, in the final set of six pictures, I want to mention, I would like to mention also the picture of Ivor Prickett. Mm. Uh, probably to me, not so strong with the aesthetic, I, I'm honest, but so powerful with the topic and the meaning of the picture. This girlfriend looking uh, uh, outside, I mean, away, and, and so, so it was terrible. And, and yeah. uh, I, can, uh, I could uh, feel the... the I mean, the human grief in that picture and, and was something really strong to me. Yeah. yeah. I, I see a question of uh, our friend Enrico Stefanelli, uh, also ciao, great uh, ciao, friend Enrico. of... Uh, yeah. Ciao, Enrico. He's asking what's my favorite. Um, of course. And, uh, as a director of the World Press Photo Foundation, you're always supposed not to say, yeah, they're all, they're all beautiful and they're all great. But uh, I have always have my favorite... Uh, uh, and one photo that really caught my eye was uh, a photo of uh, Brent Sturton of the pangolin, the little okay. animal, actually, because uh, it's such a strange uh, story that this little creature is being uh, poached. And, uh, but also the story that now connects it to COVID-19, because somehow they say that all these animals were also uh, infected. So I, I always like the work of, of uh, Brent Sturton very much. But... Um, uh, yeah, yeah I, I love your answer. If I can say something, because I remember last year you told me um, in a direct way that WordPress photo is 
also about nature is not just about uh, the news and and so nature and and uh, the work of Brent Stirton is always uh, overwhelmed in yeah. And no, the category of uh, nature this year uh, is is uh, un- unbelievably strong and the yeah. environment category is also there for now for a couple of years and this is super important uh, work um, yeah. and and uh, i think in nature and, and environment uh, these things are very close and if you also take a look at the work of stephen winter uh, did you i mean nobody nobody knows that there are more tigers in captivity in the usa than that there now remain in the wild and that yeah, story of yeah, stephen yeah. winter tells you uh, yeah you're right uh, uh, strange. Uh, the world is sometimes yeah. a strange place, and I think it's yeah. uh, very uh, important that these stories also uh, rise to the surface. Because yeah. uh, fo- press photo is, of course, not just uh, spot news anymore. Although we have a lot of great spot news photo winners again, yes, it's really course, but... the stories that are really the ones that matter, and and they, those should be coming to the surface. Yeah. Also, thankfully to the to the. Uh, to to the storytelling, uh, digital storytelling, we we can have a, a beautiful approach to many different topics. And I remember, uh, I remember the work uh, about the beer, the white beer, uh, mm. probably last year or two years ago. Sorry, I don't remember yeah. well, but was something uh, unbelievable and so well uh, prepared and so well done uh, the the job and so uh, yeah I, I i try to to invite the audience to discover also this category since uh, there are some short videos or or long videos and they are a kind of documentary mm-hmm. and really yeah. powerful there's, there's yeah. very strong work there from uh, washington post new york times very journalistic work very, very strong. Yeah. I like that very much. Journalism is, photojournalism is not just about a picture of something, but journalism, research, what is going on, is super important to, to have it combined. Uh, but there's also a production where you can have uh, uh, a virtual reality goggles on and you're in the middle of right. the protest in Hong Kong. Uh, uh, crazy. Uh, I think that is also very fascinating to see that you're thrown in the middle and right. uh, as the jury said in the beginning, uh, the, the journalist speaks in your, in your so, ears from the goal and say, if you turn around, you will see me. And so yeah. you turn around and you see the, 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 the journalist with the, the stick and the 360 camera, you see who he is. Yes, of so course. So that also gives uh, a, a point of view of uh, who is the maker and, and what is he uh, or she doing uh, to, to be there yeah. and to how can yeah. you trust yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Really, yeah. really interesting. Yeah, but this is, in a way, this is the power of image and the power of photography, you know, uh, and try to put the, the, the audience and the viewer inside the, the topic and the stories. Uh, uh, yes. And uh, yeah. I, have one, I have one more favorite. I just, uh, yeah, I, I, I take a little bit of the, uh, because uh, I give Enrico Stefanelli two answers. What is super important this year is the work from uh, Mulugeta from Ethiopia, the, 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 the side of the plane crash. Uh, the fact that he was able to get there, and if, if you will read interviews with him, it was extremely difficult for him as, yeah. an, uh, as an Ethiopian uh, photographer to get to that site. And the, the, the body of work that he has made there is, is I think, it's, it's incredible because it's such a, uh, there is no plane. But it's not about, yeah, of course, it's the, the plane, but yeah. the, the grief, the people around it. I think that he made uh, a, a very, very important body of work because how do you visualize a scandal with an airplane that, that dives himself into the ground with all these people in it yeah. and, and show what is happening there? Uh, besides that, I find it also uh, very important that we have uh, all these different nationalities amongst the winners. Mm-hmm. Photography from Africa is uh, incredibly important. Right. Something that we work on for a, uh, for quite a while now as the World Press Photo Foundation. Right. Uh, it needs to be the voice of uh, everybody in the world. It needs to be a global perspective. And right. Uh, right. for me, 
the work of Mulugeta is uh, makes me f very um, yeah, strange, you would say happy, but it's also I think we should be proud that uh, that we have it there, and it shows the strength Definitely. of the, yeah. the development of photographers in, in Ethiopia, which has been done by many great people in Ethiopia as well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I, I, Aida Mulune with her, her uh, festival. Um, and uh, yeah, it's no, important no, no, work. You, for sure, you have to be proud about that and so many photographers all around the world. So yeah, thank you for your work, yeah. Lars. And, and I'm curious uh, about the, the jury. Uh, probably, I, I don't know if you can tell us something about... Uh, the jury and the way of work. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know yeah. that there is the the main, uh, the president of the jury, of course, the the chairman, and then uh, many different uh, people yeah. involved. Uh, so yeah, please. that's important. Yeah, it's important. Yeah, well, the... we have to be careful because the chair of the jury, Lecheto Makola, is watching. Uh, I see his uh, his response in the hello, Lecheto. Um, yeah. No. So, so uh, uh, we have a uh, what we do is we have a, a, a diversity matrix, uh, which is guiding us to get jury members from all over the globe: Africa, Asia, Europe, USA. Yeah. Um, you have to have male, female. Um, it's super important to have that uh, combined because what you can see now from the last years, we put even more effort into it. And uh, it shows in the result. The, sh the result becomes more diverse. Everybody will always say, yeah, World Press Photo is about uh, terrible things. And of course, that's part of it. But what I saw this year um, uh, under the guidance of uh, Legetto is um, this really taking the time to, to listen in. And it's not easy because 73,000 photos will, will be judged by, by yeah, 21 yeah. Uh, oh, my jury God, members. Okay. You can yeah, imagine. Yeah. 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 yeah, and so and in the finals, it becomes difficult and difficult. And you have to uh, accept at some points that you will lose some of your favorites. But mm -hmm. the most important thing what I see there is there's a guidance of the rules. And that is all online. Everybody can see how we do this. Yeah. Um, but the most important thing is that we, in the beginning, we ask them to think about, be careful for cliches. Uh, is this a, a, a getting across this story in the way that it does surface to what it should be? Is it biased? Uh, take, it, take into account all these things. Have we seen it before? Right. Um, but then at the same time, we have to, as a foundation, let go and trust on the uh, on the on the, the the knowledge, the the strength and the power of okay. the uh, of the jury members. Yeah. And then, uh, of course, you you can see the the final result. But uh, I, I have to be honest. Uh, when I sit in with the final rounds, you see many great photos uh, drop off, and you're like, Yeah. 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 It, Sometimes it, you lose some of your so, dar your darlings. Yeah. So difficult. I can imagine. So difficult and. It's not so easy to reach the final result. Yeah, but yeah, so I'm really happy to, to about this chat, Lars, uh, and uh, I don't want to, to I, I mean, for me, it's a pleasure and I would like to stay with you uh, until uh, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, much better in front of a glass of wine uh, or your, your favorite wine. Uh, could we oh. say the name of this special wine? Uh, it's 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 a special wine from Bologna. It's called yeah. Lars, Lars Brusco. <laughs> Lars Brusco <laughs> is something amazing. Yeah, we yeah. we have to produce it. Uh, yeah. and and uh, with Gianluca Farinelli too. Yeah, and so yeah, we'll be. Uh, uh, it's great to fun. be with you. I I thank you for this opportunity. And uh, as I watch a little bit in the feed of people uh, looking, it's uh, people from Bergen, Norway, to the to South Africa. Uh, to to uh, to Italy, uh, yeah. All of them are there, and so uh, all these people are very dear to me. And I I I, I think it's it's great that you uh, have given me the opportunity. And uh, no, maybe this is uh, in the future. You know, we don't need television anymore. We can do it just uh, through uh, yeah. Fulvio Bugani yeah. photo image, the new the new photo station in the world. <laughs> yeah, why, why not? Why, why, not? why not? With your support, uh, it will be easier. <laughs> yeah, it will be easy. 
Thank I, you. I must mention Halifax as well. Somebody is called saying, uh, mention also Halifax. Yeah. Anybody, uh, it's, it's, World Press Photo is about the world. And, um, and yeah, for me, a... uh, I hope I can see you in Bologna this summer. Yeah, and, me too. Uh, me too. We, me, I, Daniela and I, we are working for this and with Gianluca and the Cineteca too. We will see, you know, we, we keep in touch. And of course, uh, maybe in a month we can decide it. Uh, and, and for, for sure, definitely we could find uh, maybe another way uh, to show the WordPress photo in, in Bologna too and um, using this technology. And yeah. so, but yeah. for sure, we hope to have you here. <laughs> yeah. Nothing beats the warmth of the Italians. So, and the food yeah. and the Lars Brusco. So, yeah, mythical. Well, let's see. The, let's la see. Let's see. the Lars Brusco, it's amazing. All right. <laughs> Okay, thank you bye very bye much. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank, thank you, you very much. Time. Thank bye. you. My pleasure. See you.